Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a shiny disco ball and a really nice way to do it as a mobile wedding DJ because the most optimized way to do it is to have a disco ball high above the dance floor and in the middle of the dance floor with four tight beams shining on it. And that will really give you the best effect, but lots of times we don't have access to be able to hang stuff from the ceiling or it's more trouble than it's worth. And while we could bring a ton of trusting and have the disco ball in the center of it budget sometimes don't allow for it so this is an affordable way to recreate this classic effect and give a really nice retro and elegant vibe to your weddings and so to do this and I'm gonna be using a gravity stand but you can use a different type of stand but I really like this gravity stand because it goes eight feet high and in my opinion the higher the better so the two most popular sizes for disco balls for like mobile gigs is 16 inches or 20 inches and today I'll be using a 20 inch disco ball Ball. and I'll be using this Illuminator lighting 20 inch mirror ball this Pro X motor where the mirror ball sits on top of it and this Pro X stand where the motor will sit on top of the stand and the stand will sit on top of the gravity stand. And I picked up all of this at NLFX Pro and I have a link in the description below and hopefully I have a code on there as well to help you save a little bit more money. All right, this is my Pro X topper. This just sits right on top of the gravity stand. Now I have this motor and it's one RPM. So there are motors that are more versatile, like they have like different variable speeds, but you know, we just want it to rotate a little bit. We don't really care about having a ton of control over it or having a lot of variety. We just want it to spin. All right, here is our motor. It has a built-in cable, nothing too fancy, an on and off switch, a fuse, it has some holes for mounting this mechanism to attach to our mirror ball. Included in the back is some hardware. I'm gonna need some additional hardware to attach this motor to this mount. So included is this, that, and then I screw it in. Open our mirror ball and see what we're working with. All right, it has a user guide and our mirror ball. Finding a good case for these is a pain, so I highly recommend holding on to the original box. In case you're wondering, yeah, this is a 20 inch diameter, but it is 15 pounds. This motor can support up to 30 inches and 35 pounds, and the unit itself weighs about five pounds. All right, so I've mounted some wing nuts to this motor, to this speaker stand plate, and I just got these from Home Depot, which is included in your included hardware for the motor. Just goes right here and attaches just like that. Now to attach the mirror ball to the motor. So the mirror ball is supposed to have like this, I believe M10 threaded screw sticking out of it that goes into there. Compatible with most mirror balls. So it makes the assumption that most mirror balls have the screw sticking out. I, mean, I even asked the people NLFX Pro if this mirror ball specifically would work with that one. There's no M10 screw sticking out. There's like this loop that's put in there really nicely. And there's this tiny quarter inch thing sticking out at the bottom. But I mean, there's no adapter provided with the mirror ball or the Pro X motor. So I have no idea if they forgot to send me a piece or what, but this is really frustrating. So I used to have other motors, but I sold them. This is fantastic. Ultimately, it's my fault for waiting until the night before the gig to try this out, but I was assured by the sales rep that this would work, and there's no indication on the website that it wouldn't. It literally says compatible with most models. And I feel like this Illuminator Lighting 20-inch Disco Ball is one of the most popular models out there. Even the only video I could find on this motor recommends this mirror ball. I mean, there's no instructions on the website. There's no instructions in the box that the motor comes with. Instead of saying compatible with most models, it should say it requires an M10 thread sticking out of it. I mean, even looking at the Pro X mirror balls, they don't seem to have any thread sticking out of it. So I'm kind of confused. And they should also say how long it needs to be for like stability and security. Anyways, I'm pretty frustrated, but a huge part of being a professional is the show must go on and it's time for plan B. 
it's literally too late to get an alternative disco ball motor. So I'm just going to use this motor like a normal motor and hang it upside down. I was wanting this to sit on top of a gravity stand at about eight feet high. But right now it's five point feet high on this T-bar. We're on a stage that's so probably going to be okay. This flex stand is incredibly durable. So I don't really need to add a counterweight. It's handling it just fine. So a shiny disco ball effect is not complete without a light source. So they do make dedicated pin spots for disco balls that have a really narrow beam and are really bright. But this is a bigger venue and I don't have any pin spots, but I have a bunch of movers. So I'm just gonna do that. So tonight I'm gonna be using my Shed's 160 watt hybrid movers with their 10 degree beam angle. So I like to avoid the crescent moon where your beam is bigger than your ball, but sometimes it can't be helped and we're just gonna roll with it. It's not a huge deal. So I spent all my time trying to get this disco ball to work that I didn't have a chance to update my project with my hybrid movers. So I'm just setting them in the static white and it'll just look classic and all my other lights will give variety throughout the night. Having your lights be different colors and shining gobos on them really creates a cool effect as well. <sighs> Well, that was really stressful. So the client paid for a shiny disco ball. They got a shiny disco ball. So all's well that ends well in that regard. The client was taken care of, but I'm still feeling a little bit frustrated about the motor. I think it's an interesting concept. Most disco balls are deployed like with a truss and that's a lot of like infrastructure just for a single mirror ball. And I liked the idea of how compact it could be with a motor sitting on top of a single lighting stand. It wouldn't take up a ton of room. It was easy to deploy and it was affordable. Really nice concept, but it seems like the execution was maybe a little bit rushed. I think that Pro X could have done a little bit better job with like showing how this thing works, like a video, better instructions. And I mean, I don't blame the retailer. I think the retailer could only provide as many instructions was provided to them by the manufacturers. Hopefully a video like this will help you in making the right decision to buy the right mirror ball. I still don't know what is the right mirror ball. I don't know any mirror ball that has an M10 thread sticking out. Presumably the Pro X ones do, but it doesn't say that they do. So it's really hard to determine that. So after the gig, I still thought that this was a really neat design and I was determined to find an adapter to make it all work. So I tried to find the gauge of the thread at the end of the disco ball. So I asked the American DJ support, the people that owns Illuminated Lighting, and they were not much help. So through trial and error, I was able to determine that it was an M5 thread. I found a really neat M5 to M10 thread adapter, which I have a link in the description below. You can pick it up on Amazon and everything seems to work. So I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, I try to get help from Pro X, but they just weren't very interested in helping me and they would ghost me even when I would follow up with them. So I'm a little bit disappointed with them, but glad I was able to get this to work and I will be using this for future gigs. So hopefully Pro X will update their product listings, maybe make some adapters. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.